There comes a time in the life of every songwriter where you ask yourself, is there more than just the major scale and the minor scale and the major key and the minor key in terms of chord choice and melodic choice? And it turns out the answer is yes. And you might have even heard the term modes and thought, they are for jazz musicians, or they are for film composers, or they are for followers of witchcraft and wizardry. They're just too complicated and aren't relevant to me as a songwriter. Turns out that's not true. So it turns out that modes are easy to understand, very musical and very relevant to your writing practice as a contemporary songwriter, and also lots of songs that you love and have heard and that are excellent and contemporary use modes. Okay, so in terms of understanding modes, the first thing to understand is that a mode is nothing more complex than a scale. So modes are just another combination of seven notes. And in fact, our two most familiar scales, the major scale and the minor scale, are themselves modes and have fancy modal names. So the major scale has a fancy modal name called Ionian. Okay, so the major scale is the Ionian mode. And the minor scale has an, its own fancy modal name. It's called Aeolian. It's the Aeolian mode. So we can already see that modes are nothing more complicated than scales. And it turns out if you understand the major scale and the minor scale, the other modes are just a reach away. For example, the Mixolydian mode, which is the mode I'm going to focus on in this video. All it is, is the major scale with a flat seven. That's all the Mixolydian mode is, okay? So if I take the major scale, which is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, one, right? That seven there is a natural seven. So in Mixolydian, what I'm gonna do is flatten it, which means I'm gonna take it down a semitone. So instead of seven, I'm gonna sing seven, which is flat seven, okay? So the Mixolydian mode is one, two, three, four, five, six, flat seven, one, yeah? That's all. Easy, right? <laughs> so it turns out that is all the Mixolydian mode is. When it comes time to figuring out what the diatonic chords to Mixolydian are, that one note will make a difference, okay? So any chord built from those seven notes in that scale, which is to say diatonic to Mixolydian, if it contains that flat seven, it's going to be different, a different chord than it would be in the major scale. The most common chord progression in Mixolydian okay, is a combination of only three chords. And I'm going to show you what they are. And later on, I will explain the other chords that are diatonic to Mixolydian, okay, but not in this video. What I do want to show you is one chord progression that is a really common Mixolydian chord progression and just sounds great. Really goes with the Mixolydian scale and those two seamlessly integrate together. Okay, so if I'm in the key of D, here's my tonic chord. I'm going to play the one major, which in the key of D is D major. Okay, then I'm going to play the flat 7 chord, which in D Mixolydian is C major. Then I'm going to play the 4 major chord, which in the key of D is G major. So that 1 major, flat 7 major, 4 major. different combinations of one flat seven and four and still create that really strong mixolydian harmonic bed but instead of one flat seven four i could go one four flat seven one let's hear that It's just that combination of three chords. And now, if I take those three chords and sing the Mixolydian scale over it, those two things are going to blend beautifully. So let's have a go here. <clears throat> so that's my tonic note. One, two, three. So I'm going to start there. But I'm going to make sure that I'm going to hit that natural three to give it that major scale feel, plus that, hmm, that flat seven, which is the Mixolydian feel. That's the Mixolydian note, okay? So let's have a go. Based on a Mixolydian run starting on three, three, two, one, 
flat seven, six, five, four. He's already mixing it in, right? So now we basically understand that mixolydian is easy to understand, super musical. And then the last point to make in this video is that the mixolydian mode is in lots of songs that you have heard and all love. Okay, so a couple of examples. The song Royals by Lord with a melody that is super mixolydian, right? So she goes, I've never seen a diamond in the flesh, right? So even that is mixolydian. So I've got that one chord and the melody goes five, five, one, one, flat, seven, five. And then when we get to the chorus, the chords are doing that one, flat, seven, four, right? Very mixolydian harmony as well. Another really contemporary recent song that has a mixolydian chorus is the song Spirit by Beyonce. So the rest of the song is not mixolydian, but when we hit that chorus, it goes mixolydian. So that song is in the key of F, but I'm going to play it in the key of C because that's easy for me to sing. <laughs> okay. So in the chorus, the chords, she doesn't even play that four chord. We just hear one and flat seven major. Okay. So it's still a very mixolydian chord progression there. And so the melody in that chorus goes, Spirit, watch the heavens open. Again, Spirit, watch the heavens open. I'm basically Beyonce, let's be honest. Um, so, <laughs> so there we have it, right? We have just a very mixolydian progression with notes that are all drawn from the mixolydian scale. Yeah. So mixolydian is musical. It's relevant. It's contemporary. It's also often the go-to mode in lots of different genres. So it really has a very gospel flavor to it. A lot of gospel and blues is based on the mixolydian scale. A lot of funk is based on the mixolydian scale. A lot of bluegrass and then other musical genres that spring from bluegrass like country, country rock, a lot of rock and roll, <laughs> right? Has a lot of mixolydian flavor in it. So it's really characteristic of a lot of genres that are really at the roots of a lot of other contemporary genres as well. So a beautiful mode. And I think one of the reasons why it's so beautiful is that it has the major brightness of having that major third, right? That it's fundamentally a major scale with a flat seven. And so it has this little insertion of darkness in there. And so the mixolydian gives us this more complex and nuanced palette of light and dark, which has a lot of emotional dimensions to it, I think, uh, which is why, yeah, I think a lot of genres favor it and why it's so musical and so fun to write in. So if you want to start writing in mixolydian, just get that chord progression going in any key, right? Uh, I was playing it in D, I'm going to play it in A, okay? So I can play one major flat seven, which just means I'm going to go down a whole tone and play whatever major chord is there. So in A, it's a G major and then four, four major. Okay, so I'm just going to start playing that chord progression in whatever tempo and groove I want. And I'm going to start singing up and down the mixolydian scale and then picking out little melodic motifs to get the songwriting process going. Okay, so that's the mixolydian mode for songwriters. I hope you enjoy and I'll see you next time.